Okay, so before I pack, I need to pick up a couple things that are just clothes and beauty products related. And then after this, I'm going to a French film festival. And I'm pretty excited because there's going to be lots of good food there. And then there's also a movie playing. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll insert it right here. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually watch the whole movie because I have a science test I need to study for. We're just going to see if I have enough time to watch the movie. I'm in Target again. This is my second time that I'm in Target in one of my vlogs. I'm looking for an eyelash curly because the one I'm using right now, it was so cheap. It was literally only like a dollar and a half. It's starting to get like really loose. Like it doesn't have that strong grip that it did on the when I originally bought it. Oh, this one I heard is good, but it's not the one on sale. The Japanese. Here it is. Okay, so I ended up getting the e.l.f. eyelash curler rather than the Japanesque one. The Japanesque one has like good reviews. However, I looked on this, um, the world's best eyelash curler website and this one was actually on the list and the Japanesque one wasn't. I'm not sure if I should trust that, but I hope this is good. Okay, so we are almost at the French Music Festival, which is at Fullerton College. And we're coming across Fullerton College right now? Close. Almost. Okay, so we're here at Fullerton College. It is a pretty campus and there's birds chirping, which like makes it even better. There's nothing here that really indicates a French movie festival. I think we found it. I just got back from my school dance which was 70s themed so this is why I look like this right now I am about to start packing for the DC trip oh my gosh so excited okay I've already explained this before but I bought my ticket over a year ago in seventh grade so I've been preparing for this trip for so long all of that excitement really builds up and now that I'm finally packing for it it's like surreal I am so excited so so far this is what I have laid down so I have some sweaters, my shirts, jeans, makeup, all of that good stuff. Obviously, that is a lot. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to pack all of that. I hope I will. My suitcase is pretty small. I have to fit everything in this suitcase. If I have to get rid of stuff, it's going to have to be some of my clothes. And that makes me so sad because I love everything that I'm packing. Let's get into the video and maybe you guys can help me decide what I want to pack. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys my suitcase just to see, you know, what I'm dealing with. We're not allowed to bring a super big suitcase, so this dimension is just, I think, 14 by 22 by like 9 or something. We're going to start with jeans. I'm a little bit nervous because jeans take up a lot of space in a suitcase. And I love all my jeans, and I don't want to get rid of any of my jeans. So first things first is are these Gap. 1969 flared low rise flared jeans that I got while thrifting. I love these jeans because they honestly fit with any low rise top. Like, they're so basic and they're kind of like that cool looking grunge washed out look that I love. 
so these I have to take. Also, they keep pretty warm as well. They're not like super thin. Those are a keeper. Next is this pair of jeans. These are my Levi's like black straight leg jeans. And these are honestly the best quality jeans I've ever owned. And it's perfect for Boston weather. Like this will keep me warm even if it's only 30 degrees outside. I love these jeans and they're really cute as well. They fit with everything. Okay, I already have a problem. These two jeans, literally all that I've packed, has already taken up half the suitcase. These low-rise jeans are from Urban Outfitters. They're really cute. I got them 50% off on their, from their sale rack. But again, I don't know if I can take them out of all three jeans that I want to pack. These are the ones that I would most likely not really care if I bring it or not. Let's rearrange some things first. I heard rolling up your clothes is the best way to pack. Let's see if you made any more room. I think there is a slight improvement. So these I got from Shein. They're not the best quality. They're very thin, but they're really cute as well. And I have a perfect hoodie that I would love to wear with this someday on the trip. So I'm going to try to pack this. But again, if it doesn't fit, this one is going to be the first to go. All right. Now, time for the sweaters or hoodies. Ugh, I love this. I got this white zip-up hoodie from H&M a few days ago, and it's so warm it's so thick too and it was only $20 like I honestly don't get how this was so cheap and it is super cute it's not like a really blinding white it's more of a cream color and I absolutely adore it I'm definitely taking this on the trip it matches like everything I have in my wardrobe I wore this jacket today with my 70s attire and it kept me warm the whole entire day Oh, I so hope that I have enough room for everything. Okay, next up is this hoodie that my friend is lending me for the trip. It is a nice, cute brown hoodie. And I'm borrowing four clothing items from my friend. So shout out to Ellie for letting me borrow all of her clothes. And I'm sorry for stealing her entire wardrobe. Like, her wardrobe is just amazing. Again, this hoodie is pretty thick. It will definitely keep me warm. And, I, and I'm thinking about wearing this on like the day that we arrive. I think I'm gonna have to take something out. Okay, so after lots of thinking, I think I'm gonna take these jeans out because my suitcase is already overflowing with only five pieces. I love these jeans, I really do. But I already have the low rise my other low rise that are very similar and I just don't think I'd be wearing this. I don't know how people manage to fit these huge hoodies into their suitcase without having packing problems. I don't think I'm a very good packer. Like, like what is this? Okay, moving on. I have this sweater that again, I'm borrowing from my friend Ellie. And it's a really cute striped sweater. And I already have a perfect outfit that I want to wear with this. Okay, you know I cannot leave without my airy flare leggings. If you don't own one of these flared leggings, go run to Airy, purchase one of these leggings. They're so soft and they go with any outfit, literally any outfit. It's so cute. So next up are my two tank, out tank tops that I bought from Tilly's. If you watched my Weekend in My Life vlog, you saw these. I bought these with my friend Layla. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to wear these in the East Coast, because it's gonna be cold. But I do have zip ups. I do have my light zip up that I can wear over this, and also I can wear this while sleeping. And then this top is also from Ellie. It is my last top that I'm borrowing from Ellie. It is from Brandy Mabel, and it is such a cute top. And then this top, I also purchased from Brandy Mabel in the Weekend of My Life vlog. So if you haven't seen that vlog yet, go watch it. I purchased all these clothes from there, and it's a really fun vlog. I recommend it. I'm 
definitely need a raincoat while in Boston or Washington, D.C. I got this from Amazon and it does not keep me warm whatsoever. It keeps the rain off, which is what it's meant to do, but I really hope it doesn't rain. I hope it's sunny in the East Coast and I hope that Washington, D.C. has their cherry blossoms. Okay, next up is pajamas. I'm bringing this in. Stranger Things leadership shirt that I got from a leadership conference when I traveled when I went to Disneyland with my um, ASB class. It's very comfortable. That's all I have to say. It's just very comfortable. And next up are shorts. This is my Nike Pro shorts that they're very comfortable as well. So those are also going to be great for pajamas. And then next up are the, is this like blue skirt. And finally some of my undergarments and socks. I'm just gonna, ugh, I don't know where to put this all. As you can see, this is absolutely packed to the brim. I don't think I can fit much more in here and there's so much more that I need to fit. So I'm going to give a little haul about everything that's in my makeup bag. First up is Sky High Mascara, the best mascara. I always use this, and I always top it off with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Mascara. Best combination ever. And then I have my Maybelline um, concealer. Best drugstore concealer I've had. I've only had two concealers, but this one's amazing. And then I have some e.l.f. blush and my e.l.f. eyelash serum. And then of course, my little e.l.f. fluffy brush. I don't know what this is called. A retractable kabuki apparently. And then my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Amazing. And then I have my lip oil, some spoolies, and then my eyeliner and just some chapstick. Are some of my bathroom products, which it's pretty simple. It's not much of a haul. I just have my toothbrush, my toothpaste, sunscreen, facial cleanser, and moisturizer. Oh, also, my eyelash curler, which takes up so much space. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can fit this makeup bag into the back pouches right here. Let's see? <gasps> okay, wait, it's perfect fit. I am so happy. Okay, this is actually my first time opening this suitcase. It's my dad's old suitcase. And I love these pockets. Absolutely love them. Oh, yes. I cannot forget my hair products. I just want to be so appreciative of my mom right now. She <laughs> she got me a bag full of like free samples from Macy's, Joico, whatever that says. And they have these packets with everything I possibly need. Shampoo, conditioner, heat protectant, heat protectant oil. This came in clutch, love it. And also, I have my Revlon. I don't know how I'm gonna fit that in here, but I'm gonna try my best, cause I need this. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I'm bringing this purse that I thrifted, I love it, it's really cute. Can't wait for any photos I take with this. And I'm also bringing my camera bag, which is gonna have my tripod, my camera, portable chargers, all of that good stuff. Also, my money, my umbrella, that's all going to go into my backpack. I guess that's the end of our pack with me haul. I cannot believe in about, well, in a day, at around this time exactly, I'm going to be arriving in Washington, D.C. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is about 6.30. We leave for the bus in about an hour and a half. So I'm going to just get ready, eat breakfast, and then we'll be on our way to school.
so excited. There's the bus, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're about to get on the bus and we're going to leave for DC. I'm so, so excited. So unfortunately, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned if you want to see all my other vlogs about this trip.